ki khubor ka baate si TV. Lawan Rashapi da ka Frank Motors. Visit Frank Motors or call seven zero four five two zero seven nine seven three. MIT University of Meghalaya. Our admissions are now open for the academic year 2024-25. Explore our best courses. Experience global collaborations. Apply today. Ka Grace Institution Bangalore ka college puli nursing ka babhatam nagabanta ki kina ka migalia kala play ya ka admission minta. Kementerian Sarkar Republik Yakut Selatan ke koi kakiak ka Dr. Mezel Amperin Lingdo kala pentip bagi board kami jaga Medical Authority of India kila ajinga ro halo ke jingya cha prang jaga Medical College hapo ke jala meghalaya. Habi keren bagi lapa tai ke board ke Dr. Mezel Amperin Lingdo kala tho bekindan atli Medical College hapo ke jala meghalaya koi kende jaga sarkar kar ba koi pat ke jing ri shiman. Shushu ke Dr. Mezel Amperin baga sarkar hashwa bat sedang ke Medical College kala dapat banyak keren baga Medical Association bat kumjuk ru baga Negrims bat kala pentip ru bega college on sepenya daga sarkar antip yaka kum ke Shiloh Medical College. Post implementation of allocation of seats for medical studies, MDBS, by the state of Meghalaya. So the first thing was that we have seen a proportionate increase in numbers of seats allocated to the state of Meghalaya from its first allocation today, state in 2023 uh, academic session, we got 94 seats. We hope that these numbers of seats will continue to proportionately increase in allocation. We are having some observations that are pertinent to the shortage of doctors in the state of Meghalaya. So alongside this allotment of seats by government of India, the KSU and I had a conversation on the status of the medical college. And yes, both the medical colleges, the third medical college, which is the uh, uh, Botany Hutt Institute of USTM. And the USTM Institute also is progressing very well. Uh, we will have to have certain consultations with regards to the matters of uh, doctors engaged in the teaching posts. So doctors in the state of Meghalaya retire like other government employees, there is an urgent need now to review this, especially for the uh, doctors who are in the would be engaged in the teaching profession. So that is something that we need to do. The other thing is that uh, why is it that from year to year we are increasing the numbers of seats for medical college studies for the students of. Uh, Meghalaya, why is it that we still have this huge shortage? So we're going to be reviewing the bond, we're going to review uh, all these important concerns to ensure that doctors who avail this from the state of Meghalaya return to the state of Meghalaya. So we are engaging with uh, actively with the law department where we will be reviewing and re revisiting this policy so that we ensure that our doctors, our students who get into this, this privilege of getting these allocation of seats away from need qualification to a large extent, come back to the state of Meghalaya to serve the people of the state of Meghalaya. Then uh, we were also able to attend to the problem that we had last year. We had a consult on that as well. Who are the eligible beneficiaries for an allotment of MBBS seat by the government of Meghalaya. The whole controversy that surrounded the PRC issuance of TCs. So all of that now is in better position and we hope that as and when the court gives the nod to the government of India to start need counselling we hope that by then we will be better placed and we will be able to do necessary uh, interventions to ensure that 
all of these matters are attended to because for a very very long time doctors graduating from privileges given by state are seen not to come back to state so all of that will be attended to and we hope that as and as we see that there is comp competition in the application of the mbbs seat all allotment there should also be a responsible return to the state of meghalaya personal and law are the authorities for for advice and guidance to any line department with as far as the allotment of seats as per the reservation policy of the state so we are now better uh, positioned to ensure that while selecting and allotting seats for medical colleges as per the reservation policy we do not violate it and we do not um disadvantaged any of the benefit beneficiaries that should actually benefit from it this and uh, we want to ensure say for example there could be an applicant who is who bears a tribal surname but who is not a permanent resident of the state of meghalaya and does not even have a scheduled tribe certificate what do we do with such applications do we treat them because they bear just a surname as indigenous tribals or do we also have to treat them as normal unreserved applicants for the medical seats so these are very very peculiar technical situations we should not take decision on our own and we should get the guidance and the correct advisories from department of personal department of law so that we may implement this facility for students applying for seats for medical colleges and we should ensure that it conforms with the law and the policy of the state of meghalaya no 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 so there were cases in the past where there have been situations like that but because we need to be properly guided we are take, taking guidance on all these matters to ensure that we insulate ourselves from public scrutiny and be blamed for a misapplication of the policy of the reservation policy no, again dropouts again this is likely to be here see because in a medical institution you fail first semester you are likely allowed so that study must be there somewhere in in the files but uh, i'm not saying we must try to get this medical college on the ground by academic session 25 26 so it is a deadline that is very difficult but we hope to achieve it but there are few more steps that needed to get taken we need to make sure that this is done and uh, we are already looking at working closely with the army and para military forces as well because they have some good uh, contacts and they have some good facilities in and around the northeastern region and may be able to also help us so we are exploring all possibilities exploring all possibilities the northeastern hill university vice chancellor has invited secretary health to engage actively to understand the requirements the procedures and the processing of application we are hoping to take a final call and everything will go to the cabinet before we take the final call there was an option for the state of meghalaya to affiliate this 
medical college either to the Nehu or to the Captain Captain Williamson Sangma State University. So we are at that crossroad right now and we are seeking better advisories so that whatever decision that the government takes will be advantages to the project and to seeing that the medical college goes through. What is the status currently? We have progressed substantially. In fact, the Medical Authority of India has been appraised of the fact that the state of Medalia is now ready to at least operationalize one government medical college and one private government medical, I mean one private medical college. So we are in constant touch with the authority and we are now also hand-holding and encouraging discussions with the medical association of the state of Meghalaya because they also have to be put on board and we have also discussed this with uh, Negrims because they would give us the guidance and in fact all committees related to the starting of medical colleges two three committees have already put in have already been put in place and we are constantly looking at you know space like we said the Shillong Medical College will be a government run government owned medical college and will be utilizing services of presently available hospitals which are government owned and government run and hence we call it a brownfield project and hence we see that there is enough infrastructure and facility available for our use at the initial stage. Now we just have to make sure that we are able to hire professors, lecturers in various important departments. We may or may not have these expertise in the state of Meghalaya. So we need to ensure that while we start this institution, there should be no compromise on quality education. So we are way ahead and the NMC may likely come very shortly. There were already personnel of the NMC already coming to the state of Meghalaya. We already have the experts committees, we already have uh, various people who, whose experience we have required to give us further guidance on the matter. To the state, to serve the state, because likely this policy needs to have teeth. We need to be able to hold individuals who have benefited from this allocation of seed and make sure they come back to the state of Mithala. So we will have now to take the next step of action. So after you serve a notice, you're supposed to give them a legal notice and you're supposed to subsequently file uh, action against such individuals who have not informed the state government as to their whereabouts. So it would be in the fitness of things for us to revisit this policy and hence I will be filing uh, this policy to the scrutiny of the law department and subsequently the personal department that whatever decisions we take are workable, doable and will get done. Because right now I'm informed that governments uh, have attended to this problem but have not come forward to take punitive action. Because when you you've signed a bond with the government of Makaria, after you've been allocated the seed, the bond itself gives us legal justification to question as to why you are not returning. So even if you're going for a PG, then it will take you between 
eight to twelve years to complete your subsequent bond for PG in another state. So you still have to be accountable. And we are going to change this now. Where we say it's not the money that you are going to be uh, evaluated on. It's not about one crores, two crores, ten crores. It's not about how much penalty you have to pay. It's about strict adherence to the bond. You come, serve for five years or eight years or twelve years, and then we can review the payment of a bond in lieu of your unwillingness to return to the state. We've now also seen another very important development in this matter. Certain seats which have been allocated to the state of Meghalaya by certain states are now insisting that students sign their bonds, not our bonds. So we're good that the council now has been formed in the state of Meghalaya Medical Council, which is now an authority for registration. Earlier we didn't have a registration authority. So students were able to go to whichever state that they were studying. But now it is a compulsory thing. Certain states, UP, West Bengal, tried to ensure that undergraduate students also sign up on with the state government for compulsory, um, for compulsory service. We put it up to the state, to the Minister of Health in the Union government to tell them that if you are giving us a seat and allocating a seat to the state of Meghalaya, it should not compromise on the bond that is being signed by the student who is benefiting and the government of Meghalaya who is receiving this from the, from the government of India. So all this while this matter was not attending. But we are noticing that more and more states are doing this. We have to discuss this matter with government of India and ensure that you are the one allocating a seat to our state. Do not compromise on the return of our doctors to our state because the plea for the increase of seats in MBBS is grounded on the fact that we do not have doctors in our state. So this is something that we will take up with government of India for an exclusion of state government signing bonds with our undergrad students. We took up some cases recently in West Bengal, UP. We managed to put a, a stay on some of the cases in West Bengal, but we are seeing that it is now rampantly being done by agent, uh, state uh, college, uh, by colleges where state have been given allotment of seats. We are working on it and we will definitely ensure doctors have a competition at the time of applying for MBBS seats through our state quota. At the time of taking the seat, they are willing to sign a document. But execution of that document as a follow-up post their completion of studies is where the policy has a big gap. So we're tightening all these gaps and making sure that we have a robust binding policy that will ensure no matter what your excuse or plea is, you have to serve in the state of Nepal. So we do have these numbers in the department, but I have not made myself privy to this information because I was handling other more pertinent issues. Roughly. But now because there is a delay and the, the Supreme Court judgment about need counselling to start in the state, we have this little time. I am requesting my officers to immediately engage. I will give you the numbers. I will give you those details. And we will look at this policy and make it a policy that is going to be binding on us. So an average, last year, say for example last year 94 students have been sent, high probability that not less than 30 will be pursuing a further study and not less than 10 to 18 to 20 percent will be absconding, waiting for an opportunity to sign 
uh, that is to sign a, a repayment of bond, which is a nominal price at this point of time. Thirty-five lakhs. Mm -hmm. uh, again, I need to be properly briefed, but definitely about that much, thirty to thirty-five lakhs. I'm not sure. Now it's not about the money anymore. Absolutely. We're not going to make it about you getting away with bond execution by saying you will pay in cash. We will make it a secondary option. First option is you have to come back and serve sure. for a minimum of these many days. But a lot of our students immediately after MBBS also get into the need for PG. A lot of the students are also undergoing PG studies. If I have my facts right, in the recent en enrollment of doctors, 300 plus doctors applied for the post of contractual doctor. About 100 plus are undergoing PGs in other states. So we have the data, but it's just that we're not executing the bond in the correct manner.